Hi guys, uh, welcome back. Welcome to my channel if you're new. This is Hopefully Writing. I'm Hope and we talk about writing stuff, reading stuff. In particular, we're talking about NaNoWriMo stuff. It's been kind of a weird week for me. I've been kind of busy doing things this week actually between work and school and um like some family stuff hanging out with a family member and now finding out that I was maybe exposed to coronavirus at my job which is great it's iconic honestly um so I haven't got that much writing done this week it's been kind of not great uh <laughs> on the bright side i do know oh, that's my dog he's freaking out if you can hear him i don't even know but um i do know what my plan is i know where i'm going with everything i know i know how it's gonna end i just have to be able to write it and i know i have time it's just, like, things get crazier towards the end of the month. I feel like I've got tests and exam, final exams are in December and it's Thanksgiving next week and so on and so forth. So just, even though there's not that much left and I still have a little less than half of the month, it feels like a lot. So I have no idea, I don't remember how many pages, how many words I was on before, um, but I am now on 132 pages. And I can tell you how many words right now it is 69,393 words, which is good. I got through the rough patch that I was having last week and now it's not about not knowing what I want to write or not being able to write. Or well, I guess it is not being able to write, I'm not having time to write. It's been stressful this week. I. I don't know what's going on. I got a C on an exam and found out that I was probably exposed to coronavirus, which means I can't go to school or really do anything until I know if that person is positive for coronavirus or not. It's just, it's great. Uh, so today's Wednesday in the same day that I'm recording, the only day that I'm recording and I have to figure out what to even talk about because <laughs> hmm. I thought about it as I was driving home after finding out about my exposure, potential exposure. And I decided that I would talk a little bit about like editing just for funsies because, you know, we, we just, I just do my own thing here. Um, I know I'm not supposed to be thinking about editing. I know it like goes against a lot of popular advice to think about editing as you're writing because if you start trying to fix everything before you've written it down, you're going to lose the momentum to finish it or you're going to get too discouraged or who knows? It could just, it could, it could fall apart very quickly. And that's solid advice. Like I, I'm not... I'm not talking about doing like line by line edits or anything like that. It's just now that I'm getting towards the end, I can, when I think back to things I did at the start of the story, some of them I'm like, hmm, I think that needs to maybe change. Like, so I'm going, I think I'm going to combine the father character and the uncle character because she's not there enough. For it to make sense for them to be two. Because she's not home. There's not a lot of scenes with the two of them on their own to like justify the existence of there being two. So even though it's going to require some rewriting and some editing to turn them into one person instead of two. I just think it makes more sense. Because the cast of characters is kind of big already in my opinion. So... I just think I'm going to do that. I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to wait until I finish the story and then I'm going to go back. And when I go back after finishing the first draft, that's one of the things that I'll change. 
Um, there are a couple of other things, like, I had to close the door, it's distracting me. Um, what was I talking about? Oh my god, now the dog's gonna cry. Coral, come in here. Get in. My dog is joining me today. He's in a mood. Uh, anyways. She's gonna wait. I'm not getting up again. One of the main points in the story, or like character development points in the story anyway, is the main character kind of um, embracing characteristics about her that she's felt ostracized for in the past. And it's both about learning not to assume about people, but also learning just to accept yourself because there are gonna be people, you know, who will accept you for who you are. And um, I think that I wasn't 100% clear at the beginning about what her character arc was gonna look like. And so she talks a little bit, not talks about, but hints too openly at her more, she hints too openly at the characteristics about herself that she doesn't like and that she's trying to hide from her romantic interest for it to make sense that it's like a big issue for her so I think I would change I'm gonna change that as well and then I think I have a couple of plot holes actually um just like just little ones you know like things that I didn't really think about like I had specifically mentioned a character leaving but then in a, in a couple scenes later, he hadn't actually left. He was still there. So, I mean, it's really inconsequential if he leaves or not. So I think I'll just take out that he was ever going to leave and that will fix it with, like, no editing really required. Um, so that's one thing. And then... Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I think I need to add a couple more scenes to make my... I don't know even what to call this character. She's not an anti-hero. She's kind of, kind of a foil for the main character. I think I need to add some scenes to round her out or soften some of the scenes she's in where she's a little bit too much of like an aggressive person of, of a, her traits are too negative. Uh, even though, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just spitballing here because I can't help it. I can't turn my brain off to not think about things that need to be fixed as I'm writing them. I wish that I could. It's actually a pretty bad problem of mine. It it gets really worse the closer I get to the ending because I start... I just dislike my endings. I, I've talked about it before, I think in the last video, that it's really hard to write an ending for me because it feels like just cliche, like it's not wrapping everything up well no matter how hard I try. So that's gonna be my big um, challenge this week. My This next week, my plan is to hopefully finish the first draft and then spend whatever days I have left doing some rough editing, just for like plot hole editing, storyline editing, like, like big things like that. Um, because I don't know, there's just some things I'm concerned about. I'm gonna, reread it after I finish it uh, to see how it flows for me personally because I'm also a little bit afraid that there's too much um, discordance between the two main characters, my two, my two lovers so to speak, uh, for their relationship to seem like a good idea but maybe not but you see, you see where I'm at. It's just I'm a little worried that there's too much negativity to positive scene. I don't really remember anymore 100% where I was going with all that. Uh, I'm just saying it's been a week and there's less than half the month left to finish and I think I'll be fine probably especially if I do have to do like severe strict quarantine then I'm you know, have no excuse not to finish, really, which I guess would be a positive. I've been leaving comments 
um because i write on google docs i've been leaving comments as i go of like characters names and things like that to make sure that they stayed consistent that i didn't forget like oh i'd already given that person a last name and then i changed it because i forgot it or something like that because i'm pretty bad about that so my goal right now is to finish this week after i'm finished with this month my plan is to pick a story that I want to try to publish and figure out how to edit it on my own to get it to a point where I can even try to submit it to publishing places which is I think what like my videos after this month are going to be about sorry if this was like all over the place and kind of boring or nonsensical but Sometimes you just have that kind of week, so I'll see you next week, I guess. Bye, guys.